Hi children, welcome back. In this chapter, we are going to study push and pull forces. Hi friends, welcome to Aditya's channel. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates on new videos. In this chapter, we will study what are push and pull forces, effects of these forces and types of forces. What is force? A force is a push or pull upon an object either to move, stop or change the shape of an object. To move anything, we either pull or push it. Push force is when we push an object, it moves away from us. Pull force is when we pull an object, it moves towards us. These are the examples of push force. When we cycle, we pedal the cycle and the cycle moves. While playing cricket, we push the ball using the bat and the ball moves away from us. Same during football, we kick the ball and ball moves away. And here also, if you see, when we push this grass roll, the grass roll moves away from us. So push force is when we push an object, it moves away from us. When we pull an object, it moves towards us. So these are the examples of pull force. This kid is pulling the book and the book moves towards him. So here, the kids are playing tug of war. Whichever side this rope moves, the team wins. So the, the team whichever pulls it hard wins. Here you see an example where the kid is pulling this card. The same here, the, the drawer when we pull it, it comes out. So pull force is when we pull an object, it moves towards us. Now let us see the effects of these forces. A force can move a stationary object. It can stop a moving object. Force can also change the direction of moving object. Force can change shape of an object. Force can also change the speed of moving object. This is an example for force moving a stationary object. So man pushes this roll and it moves away. So when we kick a ball, the ball moves away. This is an example for force can stop moving object. So you see that goalkeeper stop the moving ball and here in the second picture man stops falling objects. This is the third example for force can change the direction of moving object. So the ball moves towards the batsman and when the batsman hit the ball, ball changes and goes in another direction. This is example for force can change the shape of an object. So you would have seen a car which would have met with an accident and it would have been broken into pieces. And you could have also seen the toothpaste when it is crushed, it would have changed its shape. Finally, this is a fifth example of uh, effects of force. That is, a force can change the speed of moving object. So a man pedaling the cycle, if he is pedaling slowly, cycle moves slowly. And if he pedals it fast, it moves fast. Now let's study types of forces. There are four types of forces. Gravitational force, frictional force, magnetic force and muscular force. Gravitational force is the force that pulls the object towards the earth. If you see, the meteorite is falling towards the earth. And you would have also seen fruit falling on the head of the kid and falling down. So we call it as gravitational force. Second type of force is 
frictional force. A force generated by two surfaces that contacts and slide against each other. So the, you have to be very clear here that there had to be two surfaces that should contact each other and they have to slide against each other. So that is called as frictional force. So force is always opposite to the direction of movement of an object. So when you see that car is moving fast and when they apply apply brake, it comes to a stop because there is a force between tire and the road. So there is a contact between tire and the road and the, the slide is against each other. And in the second picture, you will also see a man skiing and he also applies force on the snow and that's how he can change the direction as well as move forward. Third type of force is magnetic force. So you would have played with the magnet. You would have seen that when you take the magnet towards iron pieces like nail or ball bearing, they attach, they attract each other and then those nails attaches to the magnet. So magnetic force is a force of attraction or repulsion by the magnet on iron objects. The fourth type of force is called muscular force. The force applied by the muscles to do the work is called muscular force. So we use our muscles either to walk, run, throw, push, or lift an object. So while we do this, our muscles are used to perform the activity. So this force is called muscular force. So we are come to end of this chapter. So let us summarize. There are two types of forces, push force and pull force. There are five types of effects of forces. That is, the force can move a stationary object, it can stop moving an object. The force can change direction of moving object. Force can change shape of an object. It can change the speed of moving object. There are also four types of forces. Gravitational force, frictional force, magnetic force and muscular force. So kids, I hope you have learned this chapter well. If you want to learn more, Repeat this chapter and see it again to learn it better. So, goodbye until next time.